loves it's your girl Banna BB here and I have a wig review for you and I'm excited because it is my first wig of this brand it is called the made beauty lace and lace brand it is the Taylor wig in OT that's it fresh out the box y'all OT30, it's, it's gonna be like a ombre 30. This is not a lace part. She is a lace wig with one part. Looks like it's about four inches standard. The lace is kind of soft. Might be a Swiss lace. It doesn't say if it's a Swiss lace, but it's definitely a soft lace. So I'm just gonna go in and do what I do. Take my Maybelline Fit Me powder. And put that right on underneath the bottom so I can get that natural bleach knots type of look. I've already got my no slip wig grip and my wig cap on. And you see I have it parted in the middle so I'm already ready for middle part wig application, which is honestly my favorite wig cap application. It's very easy to align with my head. I see I might have to do a little bit of plucking, but the style, ooh, ooh. Okay, a little light shedding out of the box. That's pretty much to be expected though. Oh yeah, she's more cut. Yeah, that's quite a bit of shedding out the box though, but it's out the box shedding. I don't think that counts. If you're shedding throughout the day, then that's a problem, but out the box shedding, I don't really care about. Um, yeah, she's definitely an everyday piece for me. Mm-hmm, look at that flow, yeah, baby. Oh yeah, she's serving Lena all day. But the parting is definitely not Bobby Boss parting. That's one thing that Bobby Boss does very well, especially on synthetic units. So let me see. The knots are pretty big. Gonna take my edge toothbrush and a little bit of got to be styling gel and this is how I do it. Like literally take a dollop and put it on the brush. And then you see where my part is. I literally put the glue in the part and separate my hair. Like Moses part the Red Sea chow. And boop, that is how I mesh my middle part wigs. You can at this point either tie it to get it really flat and really stuck but since it's a fresh wig I don't need to be so extra plus I got other wig reviews to do so just trying to give you an ounce of how snatched it could be might have to pluck a little bit of the front out just to get a little bit more space with this entryway I'm just taking a couple strands off one side by one side to get this beginning part of my wig lace to be a tad bit flatter this is one wig that honestly I think they could have made a lace part but I understand why they didn't make it a lace part wig because I feel like lace part wigs don't lay as flat as lace front wigs and for a middle part unit like this, you want it to lay flat. That's why it gives you that natural flow. This bob is definitely a 10 inch bob. Ooh. Serving life with no parole, baby, yes. This color is more of a deeper reddish on the blonde spectrum for OT30s, but still very doable for me. I really love how it complements my eyes. So I always love 30s and 30, 27s, 27s. This is her. 
This is Maids, Taylor in the OT30. You guys tell me what you think, cause you know there's no community without the U and the I. So leave me comments below and show me love, like and subscribe, because I have plenty more YouTube wig reviews to go for you. And of course, if you don't even wanna leave a comment, just check out my social media and hit me up there. Give me a like there or ask me a question there. It is what it is. You know Auntie love y'all, okay? So until next time, see you girl, bad on baby, over and out. I see you're still here. Are you watching some more videos? Are you gonna subscribe? Are you sleep? This ain't Netflix. Wake up and hit the subscribe button, child.